Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It's Saturday about 4.15. Let me just get this out of the way. Today has been a complete shit day. I went to the chiropractor yesterday and got an adjustment because my neck was like super stiff and eventually she got it to release. Today, my entire spine is completely jacked up to the point that like I thought and still think that it might seize. My lower back might seize. The, the, this is still really stiff. Um, I rolled out my spine before I did anything today. I've been hanging on my bar. I've been doing stretches and everything. And I went out into the garage to cut the alien babies from the from the plants and make up little uh, like uh, the little like throwaway Rubbermaid shit uh, to or Tupperware whatever to take the three ships and I could just feel my back getting ready to seize. So I've been really annoyed with that because like the past three months, I'll just say this year, 2023 has just been shit for my health. Uh, being, you know, breaking my toe, uh, getting surgery and healing from that. My spine, like just being awful. And it already went out once this year. And just a whole host of problems and then getting super stressed and losing all that weight and worrying about my dad and worrying about my finances and oh my God. So yeah, everything's just sort of coming to a head today. And I'm, I wasn't in a good headspace because it pisses me off. I just want to do shit. I want to live my life and I can't because my body just isn't letting me, um, you know, without having a host of issues. So, uh, I think that's the straw that broke the camel's back today. And, and I'm going to have to go full in with taking care of myself and, and making better decisions. So that out of the way, I've been trying to get a lot of shit done today. And I went to Home Depot to look for like a, a like a tool tabletop. I don't want a tool chest that has all kinds of drawers in it because I don't need that. That's just more drawers for me to put more crap into. And I don't need that. What I wanted was like a sturdy table that I can work on and do shit on. And I can actually put my... I have a vice, like a, a portable vice that I can screw into it. I, I, that's what I need. So I went and looked at those and they only had one white one at Home Depot. And I was just going to get a black one to match everything else. So I might just have to order it and deal with that some other time. I was going to stop and and go to Discount Tire to see about getting the my original wheels and tires that are basically unused off of my 4Runner and putting them on her 4Runner taking those wheels off and getting that really old rubber off of hers. That way I only have to put four wheels in the storage portion of, of the garage. And then that opens up a whole bunch of space below that I can put things into. Okay. So I went to do that. Now I decided to go to three ships. I knew I was going to do that at some point, but I ended up not doing it until this afternoon. And I sat there with my MacBook Pro and I put my headphones on and I started going through all the footage from this week that I've shot. And keep in mind, this was all from, from me being out and about on the road, her birthday, like going to the zoo and everything after that, going to Pleasure House Point, da 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 da. And that was very disappointing. And let me tell you why because the audio was shit. Why? Because my wireless mic systems are just failing me. I cannot use the DJI mics anymore. The one transmitter, this was a while ago, just stopped working. Won't come on, won't take a battery charge, nothing. So I used the second receiver. Then what happened? The freaking receiver itself broke. The point where the clip attaches to the rest of the piece that goes into the actual microphone, uh, plastic and metal. What's going to win? Metal. So the pin popped out because the thing warped and it got bent. And I was trying to get that to go back into shape without doing too much damage. But you know how that goes. When plastic starts to bend, it's worthless. So now it was all warped and I tried to get the pin to go back in and it did. But now because that plastic is so warped, it won't stay in. So now what does that mean? It means I can't mount my freaking receiver. Now go back to the transmitter breaking and me going to the DJI website to try to get an RMA to get it sent back. It's impossible. Cannot find any way to do it. Tried calling on a phone, tried emailing different things, no matter what, it always goes back and it tells me to identify what piece of equipment I have. And the DJI wireless mic is not part of that. 
So it has gotten to a point where I am so aggravated and I have pissed away so much time trying to get that done that now I'm done. They pissed me off beyond the point of me even giving a shit anymore. So no more DJI mic. Okay, great. Go back to my Rode Wireless Go 2. All the audio from her birthday is ruined because it literally, as soon as I turn on the, the footage to listen to it, that's what it does through the entire run of footage from that day. So it's all wasted. It's all destroyed. Can't use it. No, I'm not going to go in and try to fix it. It's ruined. And I shouldn't have to go in and fix it. It should work. So that's done. Then I decided, okay, I'll use the Comica mic. Here's the problem. Oh, the windsock fell off or whatever you call it, the dead cat, whatever. Oh, this is so thin. They made this so tiny that it won't fit in a hot shoe. Worthless. Can't use that either. So I'm done with wireless microphone systems because every single one that I've had has failed. At some point or another, in one way or another, they have all failed. I'm tired of pissing away my money on systems that don't last that long. It's a, I'm not going to keep buying them. So I decided, all right, I'm going to use my Sony ECMB1 because the Sennheiser mic, the Sennheiser, uh, what is it? The Sennheiser MKE 400 that I have. I have the old one, which is shit. And I won't get into that. I've talked about it before, but the new one, the little, uh, like wheel that you use to twist to get it to tighten down on the hot shoe, it broke. Can you find that freaking piece anywhere? Nope. So you have to buy a whole new microphone. I'm not doing that for shitty design. Okay, I got my Sony ECM B10. And I tried to get the B1 when it came out for months, months, almost a year. Couldn't find it. Now I can find it, but I had this ECM B10. Now the problem with the ECM B10 is that when you do what I do, which is walk around and you're doing this and you're setting things down and you've got it sitting on your forerunner and all that kind of shit, what do they call it? Like the mount that, that has the jiggle into it so that it, it's supposed to be noise suppressing picks up every touch. Every one of my rings that banks against whatever I'm holding or the camera or whatever, every bump in the forerunner that picks up what it makes this noise. So what did I do? I went ghetto. I have a bunch of hair ties, little, little goody hair ties. And I looked online at a thousand different videos and different articles and all that kind of shit. And someone said, oh, you got to put a rubber band up there. Where it might. So I ended up getting a hair tie because somebody said, yeah, this hair tie that, that I put in my daughter's hair works better than the freaking expensive ones on these road mics or whatever. So I stuck it on there and now it doesn't move. I don't know if that's going to work or not. But at least the microphone goes into the hot shoe. I don't have to power it. I don't have to remember if I turned it on or turned it off or if I charged it or any of that shit. Now, that's what's going to be on this damn camera. Now, let's go over all this stuff that I've been complaining about, which is microphones, audio, and all that kind of stuff. Oh, by the way, I, and I don't know where it is. probably back there on the table. I've been trying to use my Insta360 One RS again to do vloggy type shit. So when I'm carrying this camera, this A7R5 with a 200-600 out in the woods, that I just have something simple and light to hold. Yeah, well, I started going through that footage, and it looks like shit now. I don't know what the hell they did, what they changed in the, in the firmware upgrade, but it doesn't look good. It's so jarring. Like you can, you can, like when the trees are moving in the background, like it, it looks like mushy and then bam, and then it comes into focus and mush, bam, comes into focus. It just looks like crap. So don't know if I want to be carrying that around and getting shitty stuff. So all of this being said now, because I had to throw that part in there about the shitty footage. I have been watching specific creators for a while now. I'm not knocking them at all. I love watching their stuff. One person in particular, she's a van lifer. Her footage isn't great. Her audio isn't great. Like, it just isn't. It, it's choppy. It's, it's on multiple devices like phones or, or, or like shitty cameras and all that kind of stuff. It's just not the greatest. She's got... Over 300,000 subscribers. She's very popular. Why? It certainly isn't because of the audio or the video, because it isn't that great. 
It's because she's telling an engaging story and people want to see what kind of adventure she's up to and all that kind of stuff. So I'm like, all right, I can see that. And I tell you this not because I'm dumping on her, but because when it gets right down to it, the footage isn't the greatest. She's not using like these super duper $4,000 cameras with $4,000 lenses and all that kind of shit and running it through all the special audio programs and all that kind of stuff. She's like doing shit on her phone or on her, on her little computer or her iPad or something like that. And, and she's got mega followers, subscribers, whatever you want to say. So I'm like, okay. And I'm starting to find that with a lot of people. A lot of the creators that I watch, their stuff just isn't that great. They're not using like really expensive, high-end, professional gear and all that kind of stuff. They're just telling engaging stories and people want to follow along. So I tend to have more traction on my videos when I do gear reviews. People are looking for that kind of shit. In fact, I've had a lot of people give me a lot of shit on my gear reviews because I didn't go over stuff. And it's like, I've had to reach back out to them on their, on their comments and say, hey, yeah, dude, if you look, this isn't a gear review channel. This is a vlog channel. I'm documenting my life. My life has just consisted of me excessively buying a lot of gear and giving my opinion on it. But I'm not a gear review channel. I'm still not a gear review channel. In fact, I've sold a shit ton of my gear when I was freaking out and deciding that I just didn't need all that stuff. That's why I only have one camera now. I have some lenses. I still I kept a, you know, a decent portion of my lenses, but I sold a lot of them because I wasn't using them. I sold my FX30. I sold my a7 IV. I have another a7 IV that's basically sold. I'm selling other lenses still. I've sold a shit ton of iPads and stuff like that. I'm getting rid of all that crap because I'm starting to find that it's just a hassle and no one gives a shit except for the people that give a shit. But again, I'm not a gear review channel. So I'm telling you all this to tell you right here, right now, that I am documenting my life. It's probably not going to be the best video. It's probably not going to be the best audio. I'm tired of buying wireless microphone systems to try to find something that sounds fantastic because it sounds fantastic for a very small amount of time, certainly not for the amount of money that I have spent in the past. And I'm done wasting money on all of this crap. So you're going to get what you're going to get on the gear that I have. If you don't like it, you don't have to watch my stuff. Sorry, I don't mean to be crass or, or that direct, but the bottom line is, is that I'm tired of pissing away all my money on stuff that's supposed to be so fantastic, and it's crap, you know? Or eventually it turns into crap. I'm tired of listening to all these influencers tell me, oh, this is the great, this is a game changer. God, I'm sick of hearing that. This is a game changer. This is the thing. Like, I can't tell you how many videos I've watched in the past month for all these cameras that have come out, where all these stupid influencers are like, this is the camera. Like, this is the game changer. Like, if I had to pick one camera, it would be this. And then two weeks later, when the embargo lifts and they got another camera that they've been sent for free by another company that's got them in their pocket, let me tell you, this camera is a game changer. This whatever is a game changer. This is what I use. This is what I added on. This is the da 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 Okay, yeah, no, it isn't. No, you're not using that. You're using multiple things, and you're not even the one that's doing it. You have multiple people filming you. You have editors that are professionally editing your shit, that are filtering your audio, that are doing this, that, and the other thing to come up with these fantastic videos that are so cinematic and professional. Give me a break. So I'm done. I'm also done ranting, except my hair looks like shit because I've had it in the hand all day and it's bugging me. But here, I'll hold it up like this. I'll put it in my little pebbles bun here. Okay, so I'm done with buying all this crap. I've been done for a while now, but I'm definitely telling you now that I'm done buying fucking gear because I'm over it. I'm over pissing my money away on stuff that all these idiots are telling me is so fantastic. Oh, sorry, they're not the idiot. I'm the idiot. You're the idiot. If you listen to these influencers who are telling you that this stuff is game-changing, professional, cinematic, oh my God, because it isn't. Get a camera, use your phone, use whatever you've got, film shit that's engaging and funny and, and endearing or whatever, or not, whatever, do you. Do whatever you gotta do. Don't listen to these clowns that are trying to tell you that, that the super expensive shit is the way to go, because it isn't. And I'm here to tell you that, because I've bought it all, and I've used it all, and it's all failed on me, okay? 
get what you get, do what you want to do, enjoy what you're doing. There are going to be people that are going to follow along and watch. And there are going to be people that give you shit for it. To hell with them. Don't worry about it. Do you. Okay? That's the gist of the message today. Because I'm all pissy from everything going wrong with me today. And I'm just done with it. So I'm going to sit here with my little pebbles thing here. And I'm going to tell you, just do you and enjoy yourself. And that's all I've got for you today. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. And remember, kids, forward and up.